Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle Crum. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Community and Rural Health at UT Health Science Center in Tyler. I have a background in molecular biology, virology, and public health, and today I'd like to share information with you about what you need to know about mRNA vaccines. Messenger RNA vaccines, also called mRNA vaccines, are some of the first COVID-19 vaccines authorized for use in the United States. Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna are both companies that have performed clinical trials and found a high level of effectiveness against symptomatic disease. Pfizer's was 95%, Moderna's was 94.5. And what this means is that individuals were found to be protected against developing symptoms and severe disease of COVID-19. This is really important because as you know, as the pandemic continues, we have seen a large number of hospitalizations and deaths as a result of the pandemic. So the introduction of a vaccine that would help to control some of the more severe disease in these cases would be extremely important to introduce at this time and also to be able to control the pandemic as we move forward. So there is a question, and you might have heard the question already, do we need to continue to wear a mask um, if we choose to be vaccinated? And so for now, the, the answer to that is yes, you need to continue to mask, um, to physically distance from others, avoid crowds, and continue hand washing and all of those other interventions that we have talked about before. As information is collected, we will find out more about if the vaccine can prevent against infection and subsequent asymptomatic spread in vaccinated individuals. So stay tuned for that. A lot of folks ask, how long will I be protected? So the duration of protection is not yet known. We don't know the full duration of protection even for the natural infection. Again, studies are ongoing to determine how long the vaccine will protect individuals from severe disease. So some individuals, um, wonder about the safety. So it's important to note that COVID-19 vaccines are being held to the same safety standards as all other vaccines. In addition, even though this platform is new, it is not completely unknown. So researchers have been studying and working with mRNA vaccines for decades. Interest has grown in these vaccines because they can be developed in a laboratory using readily available materials. This means the process can be standardized and scaled up, making vaccine development faster than traditional methods of making vaccines. In addition, individuals wonder, how is the vaccine development timeline, how was that accelerated while ensuring safety? So there's a couple of reasons why um, it was faster and why it was still safe. Researchers used existing clinical trial networks that helped to begin the COVID-19 vaccine trials in addition, manufacturing started while the clinical trials were still underway. Normally, manufacturing doesn't begin until the trials are completed. And then, of course, mRNA vaccines are faster to produce than traditional vaccines. They do not involve cells or cell cultures within the lab, and they are faster to produce because they're really just the mRNA and the lipid components that surround them to be able to deliver them to the cells. And the FDA and the CDC, when they look at the safety and efficacy of these vaccines, they are also prioritizing the review of these, the authorization, and the recommendation of the COVID-19 vaccines due to the emergency situation that we currently find ourselves in. So there might be a question. I've heard there might be side effects. If I get the vaccine, what are those? These mRNA vaccines may produce side effects after vaccination. This is typically seen after the second dose. Both the Pfizer BioNTech and the Moderna vaccines are two dose vaccines. Side effects may include fever, headache, or muscle aches, and no significant safety concerns were identified in the clinical trials. And eight weeks of safety data was gathered in the trials and this is good because typically we don't see side effects more than eight weeks out after vaccination. So how do the mRNA vaccines work? So think about mRNA, messenger RNA. We have it in every cell in our body, and it's basically a blueprint that tells our cells how to make the proteins that our body needs. The way the vaccine works is that 
COVID-19 mRNA vaccines will give the instructions to our cells to make a harmless piece of what is called the spike protein. The spike protein is found on the surface of the virus that causes COVID-19. These vaccines, COVID-19 vaccines, are given in the upper arm muscle. Once the instructions, the mRNA, are inside the immune cells, the cells use them to make the protein piece. And after the protein piece is made, the cell breaks down the instructions and gets rid of them. Next, the cell displays the protein piece on its surface. Our immune systems recognize that the protein doesn't belong there. It starts to make an immune response, and we are able to produce antibodies against the spike protein. This is similar to what happens in a natural infection against COVID-19. At the end of the process, our bodies have learned how to protect against future infection, and the benefit of mRNA vaccines, like all vaccines, is those vaccinated gain the protection without the risk of serious consequences of getting sick with COVID-19. So to summarize, here are some facts about COVID-19 mRNA vaccines. They cannot give someone COVID-19. mRNA vaccines do not use the live virus that causes COVID-19. They also do not affect or interact with our DNA in any way. Remember that the mRNA enters the cell as an instruction set to make the spike protein to allow other cells to see it in our body and our immune cells to build a response. mRNA vaccines do not contain live virus and they carry no risk of causing disease in the vaccinated person. Therefore, you cannot get COVID-19 from these vaccines. In addition, because of the platform of the mRNA technology, there are no cell lines used to produce these vaccines. The only components of the vaccine are the mRNA itself, which is the instruction set for the spike protein, in addition to a combination of four lipids or fats that surround it to allow delivery into cells. All of these things are important to remember as you move forward in making an informed choice about if you choose to be vaccinated when your time comes.